Far too many of you worry way too much about other people and not enough about yourselves. When you spend your energy focusing on what other people are doing instead of executing on your own opportunities, you are setting yourself up to fail time and time again. And this goes against what society is, right? Society is all about gossip. It's all about talk. It's all about who's doing what. And it's never about worrying about what you're doing. That's why you don't see successful people hanging out with people like that. Because they worry about their own sh They worry about their own actions. And they worry about how they can get better at it. How about you take the time you spend gossiping and talking about and worrying about other and put that same time into developing yourself. I just beat me. This ain't about nobody else. I don't give a fuck about nobody else. I just beat me. If I can keep beating myself, then that means that I'm in a battle with the only person that I really want to beat, and that's me. If I can continue to outdo me from the day before, then I'm ahead. My number one competition is me. It's always you versus you. You gotta be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. No coach, no trainer, no mentor, no boss can do it. You versus you. Dedication, all works. Dedication, all works. Dedication, all works. I'm a one man army. The world can go against me. I'm still coming on top. I got God on my side. And you gotta get to the point where there's no other human that wants your success for you more than you want it for you. In 2022, stop trying. Whatever your hand find to do, execute, execute, execute. You have to begin to fortify yourself. You have to begin to consciously monitor your inner conversation and start talking to yourself. Start building yourself up. Sometimes the only good things you will hear about you are the things that you say to you. Start building yourself up. Start encouraging yourself. Start saying, I can do this. I can make this happen. When I start trying to convince myself I can be a businessman after flopping and failing and losing thousands of dollars and feeling stupid and dumb and having people take advantage of me because of what I didn't know. I had to talk to myself because people were saying to me that I was dumb. And somewhere in the back of my mind, I was saying, you're right, look at what I've done. I had to say, no, 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 Les. Hey, hey, come on, man, get yourself together. You can handle this, you just haven't figured it out yet. It's all right, this is your training period. This is the tuition you have to pay for what you don't know. You can do this, other people have done it. It doesn't take an Einstein. Change the way you see yourself and begin to tend to the personal details. Understand that nobody's gonna take care of your business better than you. You've got to work on yourself. You've got to develop yourself. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out. Selling yourself on you and on your potentials. Stay focused, don't listen to nobody. What's on your mind, just do it. Cause what's destined for you, you gonna get it. There's no limitations. There's no excuses. Just saw that really. You don't even know how creative you are until you run out of options. You don't know how innovative you are until you feel like your back is up against the wall. I am excited about your future because your darkness is about to be your development. Everybody can stand up and do good when everything is all good. Everybody can smile when the sun shines. Everybody can do right when everything is going right. Everybody can do that. But everybody can't face opposition, adversity, and challenges and say, I've been waiting on you to come. I'm going to embrace you and I'm going to figure out a way to use you because you will never make me a person that people don't recognize before the adversity. That's made up in my mind before the battle even happened. Because I know I ain't running. I know I ain't quitting. I would rather aim for the stars and not hit them than to not aim at all. I would rather go after it and not get it than not go after it at all. I'd rather try and fail than not try at all. I don't want to live with the idea, wonder what would have happened had I done more with my life. I'm going to go for it come hell or have water. I'm going after my destiny. I'm going to make a commitment and no matter what happens, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get it done. That's the will. That's the most important part. Like you've seen people like in the midst of opposition, they're like, this is why I play the game. I've been waiting on the opposition. Where you been? This is why I signed up to do it. I was waiting on it so I could see what I'm made out of. I just need you to keep moving. I need you to make up in your mind that the only way you can lose is if you quit. I just need you to keep going. If you don't have the will to get through all the stuff that you have to get through to get to the other side, the will. You are strong enough to climb any mountain. You are strong enough to get through any test. You have a will that was given to you at birth. I need you to exercise it.
If you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But by all means, keep moving. Let me tell you something. It's possible. The greatest achievement in body comes right after their worst defeat. When they hit rock bottom, hit the bottom of the barrel, they got nothing left. Everyone's given up on them. They're dead broke on their back. They're just now left with the intestinal fortitude, the pride within. Do I want to stay on the bottom of this barrel or do I climb the f*** out of this hole? It's at that point when everything's lost that everything can be gained. You've got to remind yourself, I know I got what it takes to do this. And it's necessary that you go at it with everything in you, pulling deep down within, challenging yourself. Once you had that belief, that's so strong, that overrides the crowds and split, the adversities, anything, you welcome that shit. Because that right there is supposed to fucking happen. Because without that kind of abuse on you, you will not become the battle-tested, proven champion that holds a title, has the value of the title. You must go through those ends. Hit rock bottom. Your worst hour to spare becomes your best as you get back up. You learn from that. And you continue to put one foot in front of the other. Because what you're going for is what you believe. Did you know that less than 1% of people are naturally, extraordinarily gifted at something? Think genius, think savant. Do you know what that means for us, the other 99 plus percent of people? If we're going to do anything great in this life, it is going to require discipline. That's the truth. If you are going to accomplish anything extraordinary with the days on this planet, it is going to require you pushing through the discomfort and embracing the grind and disciplining yourself. If you want to live your best life, your absolutely best life, you got to do me a huge favor. You got to watch them choices you make. People make bad choices. They wake up another, make another bad choice. They make another bad choice. Now they got a habit of bad choices. And they like, how did I get here? Choices. How did I get here? You trying to get to certain places, but you ain't making the choices that's going to get you there. You all in your feelings. The cause of laziness is a craving for comfort. It's wanting comfort ultimately your problem is not laziness it's the worship of comfort which produces laziness it's that i don't want to do anything that i don't want to do it's believing this lie that if it doesn't come completely natural to me if it's not easy then i shouldn't have to do it or maybe i'm doing the wrong thing you have to make a choice Either you're going to resort back to your old place and remain comfortable and miss the opportunity, or you're going to have to want it bad enough to get out of your comfort zone. You can lie to yourself and then you don't need discipline. You can tell yourself everything's okay and then you don't need discipline. You can tell yourself, you can lie to yourself and say that you're winning and then you don't need discipline. But if you tell yourself the truth, if you tell yourself the truth that you know you could be better, you know you could do more, if you tell yourself the truth, you won't have to find discipline. Discipline will find you. The greatest version of you is not the I can do anything version of you. The greatest version of you is the disciplined version of you. The greatest version of you is the version that has parameters. No, I don't do that. I don't drink that. I don't go there with these people. I'm focused. I have a prize that's in front of me. I know what I'm supposed to do and that ain't it. I have to stay right here. You can become godly through discipline. Not easy, not just because you feel like it, that sometimes you have to honor the grind. If it don't scare me, I don't want to do it. If it ain't edgy and half crazy, I'm not interested in it. But if it's something I can't pull off by myself, and I gotta stay up at night, and I gotta pray my way through it, then I'm ready to do it. Because nothing great comes without struggle. Excellence requires discipline.
comfort. There's got to be some type of discipline attached to whatever you want deliverance in. And what I'm telling you is the battle never changes. Every day, you have to get self-control. You all have to think and find creative ways to make the next move happen. Your next move is in between your ears. When your head shifts, your life is going to shift. You've got to begin to think about the things you want to materialize in your life on a regular basis and think about it repetitiously. Literally, the things that we obsess about become the things that we possess in our lives. Your mind is a weapon, and you've got to begin to use it and pick that weapon up and control it. Most people are out of control with their mind. They don't point it at something. They let the world point it, and they misfire all the time. So today, I want you to pick up that weapon that is your mind and begin to point it at the things you want. Becoming successful is a situation of developing discipline, persistence, patience, grit, character traits that you don't just get, you are not f***ing born with. It's going to come down to you developing the ability to do the things that you don't feel like doing because you know that it's the right thing to f can do. So often, we want to blame circumstances for the way things are. We want to blame genetics for the reason we're kind of fat. We got all these problems. But might I suggest, the problem is the pattern of your response. But you can't change the product if you don't change the pattern. You can't change the way your career's going if you don't start changing your work ethic and your work habits and your inner relations. You can't change your wisdom unless you change your input. So the problem is the pattern. Whatever's going on is your fault. It is your fault. Accept that, own it, and then deal with it. Every decision that you make has consequences. Are you making yourself better? Or are you making yourself worse? Are you moving forward or are you moving back? Are you making progress or are you stagnating? Every little decision you make counts. And most people will not be successful. They will not reach whatever they wrote because when there's not anything emotionally attached to it, they're going to quit and give up. Most people were closer than they ever thought they were to finishing that big thing, but they never finished it because they didn't feel like finishing it. Or they were doing it and it was pain. And most people quit in the pain because the pain hurts so bad that they don't know if they want to keep going to get to go. Because you're going to wake up most days and not feel like it. You're going to wake up most days and not be pumped up. You're going to wake up most days and not feel like doing it. But when you can get to a point that you do it anyway, then there's no way you won't reach any of your goals. You are not where you want to be, not because you need any more gifts. You don't need nothing else. You need to discipline yourself. You need to learn to tell you no. You keep talking about everybody else you can't tell no. You can't tell you no. You can't tell you stop. You can't tell you quit. You got to get to a point where you're disciplined. It's a muscle. The mind is a muscle. Emotion is a muscle. I don't negotiate with myself. Well, maybe we'll do it tomorrow. I'm gonna do this, or oh, let me wait two more minutes till I'm ready. There's none of that shit with me. For decades, I go, I say, we do. I'm not here to discuss this shit with my mind. There's mind, and then there's soul and spirit. And soul and spirit, my soul fucking knows. And when I say jump, you fucking jump. I'm not here to have a discussion with you. But you have to take control and train this brain. If you don't train this brain, it'll use you instead of you using it. Everyone wants some life hack that eliminates the need to do the work, but that does not exist. You have to do the work. You've got to hold the line. You've got to make it happen. What could you be if you worked as hard as you could? What could you be if you imposed real discipline in your life? I say you crank up the volume on that question. Max it out. And then go get some. People who win can do sh and people who lose talk sh you can win if you choose to learn the things that you need to do and then can do them. That's reality. That's the sh nobody wants to admit because admitting so means that you have to take responsibility for where you are currently. And you have to say, I am where I am currently because I didn't do X, Y, and Z. And guess what? That f it hurts a little bit. But once you accept that truth, you are able to then move forward with the actions required to get you to where you want to go. You have no business being average, but now you justify it. You come up with these great reasons why you can't get up at five. You have these great reasons why 
why you have to do everything, why you don't execute, why you don't finish, why you don't follow through, why you say you don't exercise and you do it for about 10 days and you quit. You've got an excuse for why you're average. I guarantee you if you were humble enough, if you were hungry enough, if you really wanted what you said, you'd sit down and you'd study what you do and you'd say, I can do this better. But I have not exhausted all my time. I have not exhausted all my research. There's something missing. You're not where you're supposed to be. It's not going to take a lot, but it's a small gap. And the gap is called execution. If you want to execute just a little bit more, you'll be on a whole other level. You have to master the monotonous. It's the boring sh. It's the everyday sh. It's the regular sh. It means doing the sh that most people are too fing undisciplined to do day in and day out with perfection. Doing it better than everybody else. Doing it to the best of your ability. You have to remind yourself that these little things that you do are going to lead to the big things. Are you going to do your workout or are you not? Are you going to do your cardio or are you not? You think things are going to just go your way? Well, they're not going to just go your way. You got to make them go your way. You think things are going to just happen for you? Well, they're not just going to happen for you. You got to make them happen. Discipline your body. Free your mind. Get up early and go. Get after it and you will become the person you want to be. And you become that person through one small decision at a time. When you're working and you're trying to make things happen for your family, for yourself, but life keeps hitting you relentlessly when everything is telling you to quit, what keeps you going? I want to remind y'all of the power of the mind. You can think your way into stress. You can think your way into misery, frustration, but if you change your mind, it'll change your life. You just have to decide in your mind what you want it to be. You just have to wake up. You just have to break that negative spirit. You have to break through. As we begin to look at what we want, what's going to be crucial for you is to look toward the future and every time you find yourself saying that you can't do something, putting yourself down, being negative about you and the possibilities for you, you've got to literally catch yourself. And you've got to affirm to yourself in the process, hey, 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 no, 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 I can make it. There's some way this can happen for me. It's the what if I can pull off a fucking miracle. What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be? You've got to say yes to your life. You've got to say yes. Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. I can make it. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about my defeats. Doesn't matter about what I've done. Yes, yes. I don't care about the fact I'm in a hole now. Doesn't matter about where I am. Yes, the last chapter to my life has not been written yet. If you judge me now, you'll judge me prematurely. I haven't exposed all my stuff yet. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. Yes! Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for what you want in your life. Decide that your life is so meaningful to you, that you love you and you love life so much that you're gonna stand up for something you want. You have miracle working power in your life right now, but you've got to work on yourself. You've got to develop yourself. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out, selling yourself on you and on your potentials. And you've got to know that you are worth all of your effort. There's no mistake that you can't rebound from. There's no mistake that you can't get back up from. You better be resilient. I don't care what happened. You can bounce back up again and make it happen. What I've gone through will not define me. The best is yet to come. I'm a fight to the finish because giving up is not an option. Being poor is not an option. Being set out in the cold is not an option. No, you're busy rebuilding. You are busy recalculating and making a radical change in yourself and asking yourself, what is it about me that I must change? You want to be 
committed to taking care of yourself. As you go into action, as you hold that thought in consciousness persistently, you will begin to realize powers and abilities you have. You will realize you have miracle working power in you. When you're a warrior, you're willing to fight for your dream. You're willing to realize that you will fail your way to success. You're willing to make it okay if people don't like you or disagree with you. You're willing to fight even though the odds are stacked against you. You are willing to have a spirit of optimism when you've lost everything materialistically. But if you got a pulse, if you woke up this morning, you, when you're a warrior, you're willing to fight. You fight? And you either win, or you die trying. I don't care how good you are, how well intended you are, how experienced you are. Every now and then, something will hit you. And knock you to your knees. You can't stand anymore. And you're on the verge of losing your mind. You're throwing a towel on yourself, you surrender to your emotions. A lot of people become discouraged, they become frustrated, and they say, oh, what the heck. So you give up when you can't get up. And you decide to yourself, maybe I just have to make the best of a bad situation. There's going to be certain seasons in life to where you're in a season of just enduring. No matter how much things go well, you're going to be in some seasons of your life to where you feel like ain't nothing working. You coming down the court, clear shot at the basket, ain't nothing falling. Man, you're not crazy. This is life. There's nothing wrong with you. These are the ups, the downs, successes, failures. This is the totality and the process of life. And you can't escape it. Because sometimes we don't understand, like, what is this thing? What is my purpose? Why am I here? Why do I have to go through this pain? Why can't it just be peaceful all the time? Then there wouldn't be life. You live life long enough, you're going to have some extreme stress. But what you do with that stress is what your life is about. Anybody can do well when things are going their way. What do you do when everything is unjust? What do you do when it's unfair? What do you do when your own control of things is taken from you? You have to get to that place where you let go of what is or what was, and you gotta create a new. But what you really gotta do is decide, I am the creator of my life. I am not the manager of my circumstances anymore. There is something I can still do. When I think there's nothing can be done, that's when I know something can be done. Because if you're creative enough, can you find the answer, yes or no? If you're determined enough, can you find the breakthrough, yes or no? If there's no way that you're committed, can you find the money, even if you don't have it, yes or no? Creativity, decisiveness, passion, these are the ultimate human resources. And if you don't have what you want, stop telling yourself the story because you don't have the money, you don't have the time, that's bullshit. It's because you haven't committed yourself where you would burn your boats. If you want to take the fucking island, burn your fucking boats and you will take the island because people, when they're going to either die or succeed, tend to succeed. I want you to say, I can beat it. I will beat it. I must. I got a family to live for. I ain't through yet. My life ain't over yet. And I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care what they say on paper. I don't care if you say we outnumbered. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. We don't run. We gonna stand and we gonna live and we gonna die by what we stand for. And everybody gonna know what we represent and what we're a part of. I got staying power. I got staying power. There's some things in life you don't need no degree for, you don't need no money for, you don't need no support for. There's something in life you just gonna get through when you tell yourself, I'm gonna get through this. I don't see failure, I see grit. Determination, drive, sacrifice. Failure means you're trying. I don't look at it as failure. I look at it as my first, second, third attempt. One thing in life that's for sure, the valiant motherfucker always wins. Forget about the mistakes and failures of yesterday. Focus on today. That happened yesterday. It was an error. Squash it. We're going to fix it and move forward. We're not going to waste today on the mistake we made yesterday. Today is a new day. And though yesterday wasn't the best day, yesterday is gone and ain't nothing we can do about it. You've got to put all your energy and focus on today because that's all that matters. Because as long as we're thinking an error, as long as we're on that negativity, it's going to produce negativity. Say yes. Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. Yes, I can make it. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about my defeats. Doesn't matter about what I've done. Yes, yes. It is possible if I just stand long enough, I can pull this off. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. 
It's gonna be a fight, but at some point, you gotta go take the life out of it. At some point, you just gotta take that thing out. You gotta take the breath out. Go get it. Don't run from it no more. Go get it. You go in there and go get that grade. You go in there and get that information so you can pass that class. You gotta go get it. I think about my why. I can't quit. I can't stop. I can't get tired. I can't give up. I can't give in. My mama counting on me. My wife is counting on me. When you ain't got nothing left in your tank, you got to think about the people in your life that you're doing this for. And then if you can think about them, you can go one more mile. You can go one more day at work. You keep going. You keep studying. You keep writing. You keep singing. You keep rapping. You keep boxing. You keep fighting. You keep dribbling. You just keep on keeping on. And if you persevere, every storm that's come, it will pass. I wish I could tell you that it's going to get easier. I wish I could tell you it's going to get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, it's going to get lighter. The weight is going to get lighter. I wish I could tell you that, but that's not the truth. The truth is you got to find something within. You got to find something within and that's got to push you and that's got to elevate you and that's got to drive you and that's got to move you. And when you find out what your why is, you find a way to make it happen. The hardships that we've had are actually the things that teach us the skills and the perspective we need to actually become what we want to be. And if you quit, if you falter, if you stop, all the pain will be for nothing. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I don't care how low you are. I don't care what you have done. I don't care what you have experienced. I don't care how devastated your life might appear to be. The shambles it might be in. Wherever you are in life, ladies and gentlemen, you've got comeback power. There's a power in you that can enable you to be stronger and better than anything that's out here. Once you begin to know who you are, once you discover this power, the perfect essence of who you are, that's in all of us, that's permeating our being, that enable us to be the directors of our lives, it will set you free from believing, I can't see myself doing any better that you truly can live a healthy, happy, prosperous life, and that you can make it in what are called the worst of times. Tough times never last, but tough people do, and you are tough. Whatever it is I want, this price is gonna get much higher than this. It's gonna get harder than this. And I've decided in advance it's going to be difficult, and I've decided in advance to stay in. I'm gonna stay in the hunt. I'm gonna stay fighting. I'm gonna stay busting it. I'm going to pay the price until I get what it is that I deserve. The people in life that win play offense, not defense. Stop backing into everything. Stand up. Bow your back a little bit. Start to walk a little different. Start to be that best version of you. You have to resolve yourself today that you're going to win, that you're going to dominate, that you're not average and ordinary. There has to become a point where you make a decision. We're going to dominate. We're here to win. We are not here to play. And that takes some intestinal fortitude. It takes a decision. I'm where I'm at because I just flat decided at some point I get to choose who I am. The world doesn't tell me who I am. And in every family, there's a the one that eventually shows up in a family. They rise up and changes the whole family forever. I'm the damn one. And in your family, you could be the one. It's you. You've got to make it your personal business to make it happen. And you've got to resolve within yourself that I'm the one. I'm the one to make this happen. But you know it's going to be hard. But find out what will make it worth it for you. When life drops you to your knees, your reasons will help you get back up. Why are you here, Les? Because I want to make Mama proud. Why are you here, Les? I promise my kids something to do for them. I'm gonna give them a better life. I want to leave them a legacy. I'm not gonna give up. Go back, go back, fool, go back. No, no. The people that are running after their dream know they're gonna have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. If I can take it, I can make it. If you can take it, you can make it. If you can just keep believing when nothing in you is working, when all your external forces have given way, if you can just manage to somehow keep hoping, you have a chance. You just can't become hopeless. If you can just keep hope alive, you can make it. 
Because if you keep hoping, it is really faith. You just got to transpose it into, I hope this happened, to I believe this can happen. Life is like a grindstone. It can polish you or it can pulverize you, depending on how you position yourself. There's one side of pain that's the suffering and the discomfort side of pain. But then there's another side of pain that's called effort. It's called glory. It's called if you can find a way to push through pain, there's something greater on the other side of it. Do I just sit there and settle? No, I don't. I say enough's enough, man, and I'm gonna make a change, and I'm gonna keep going until I get it. You chase something that you believe you deserve until you get it. And it doesn't matter what happens to you, doesn't matter how many times you've been fired, doesn't matter how many people don't believe in you, you just go until you get it. Say it and actually mean it. Look in the mirror every fucking day and say, yeah, I'm proud of you. I believe in you. You can do anything you want. You are powerful. You say, if it's hard, then do it hard. I won't allow this to stop me. I don't have the option of easy. I don't have the option. And I don't think you do or any of us do. I'm going around trying to find a dream. That's a little dream that doesn't require much responsibility or not too stressful. It won't be too much of a hassle. No, no, no. All you need to do to get out in the arena of life is to say it's possible. In spite of the nose, yes, maybe this next call might do. It's possible this next job interview, this might be the one. I can do this. Every day you wake up, you gotta start with that vision. You gonna get up, you gonna get dressed, you gonna get out, and you gonna do what you've been called to do. And you gonna prove to everybody that tried to break you, everybody that tried to stop you, everybody that tried to kill your dream, you gonna prove all of them wrong. You've got to say yes. Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about what I've done. I can make it. And you gotta believe even if there's no reason to believe. When everything appeared to be going wrong, you're working on your dreams, and somebody that you love and trust decide to walk out on you, you still got to believe. When you see those things that you've been working on crumble in your face, you still got to believe. When friends who should be a source of strength and encouragement, relatives who should be there to inspire you and motivate you and tell you, you can't do it, you still got to believe. With no money in your pocket and many times more month left at the end of the month than after your money, you don't know how you're going to make it, you know your paycheck's long before you get it, you still got to believe. I don't care what it takes. I don't care how many speeches I have to give, how many seminars I have to give. I know I ain't got the money. I know I don't have the education, but I ain't gonna let that stop me. I'm gonna do it. And no matter what you're going through, as long as you still have breath in your body, as long as you're still alive, you're still in the game. Because anytime you wake up and you don't have a white chalk outline around your body, it's a great day. If I just stand long enough, I can pull this off. I can do it. I'm putting it out here. I'm not going to rest until I have it. It's necessary. I'm going to do it. It's on me. No one's going to make it happen for me. I get some help and assistance, but I know that it's on me. Will it be easy? No, it's going to be harder, but it doesn't matter what it costs. Because whatever you have to do, it's worth it because it's your life's purpose. And once you know that, it is done. It's possible you can live your dream. And if life's got you backed up, you can't quit. You can't give up. You can't stop. You fail the class, get back up and try again. You lose a job, get back up and try again. You put all your money in investment, get back and try again. If you start a business and it don't work, don't stop, don't quit. You will study as long as it takes. You won't go to sleep until you have the knowledge that it takes to do what you're able to do. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. If you do what is easy, complain about your situation and circumstances. Stand around and be a volunteer victim like everybody else. Surrender and give up on your dreams. Become depressed and bitter and angry. Anybody can do that. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, keep coming back again and again and again. Get up dressed every day, knowing some way, somehow, with a spirit of expectation, I can do this. If you do that over and over and over again, your life will be easy. What do you do when the thing that you didn't ask for happens in your life, in the shifting seasons? You can find yourself stressed out. You can find yourself depressed, mentally fragile because of the experiences, the turbulence that you have gone through. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, there are some times when things aren't going to go right, and you have to deal with it. You can experience enough pain in life that it can clobber you to the ground, 
and you believe you can't do it. You believe that this is it for you. No, it's not. Setbacks will happen, and when they do... It's okay to cry, it's okay to go home, but eventually you have to get over it and move on. You don't have to force yourself or motivate yourself to think negatively, to be depressed, to hate somebody, to want revenge, to want to get back at somebody, to beat yourself up over the head, to feel loaded with guilt. You don't have to make any effort to do that. Your mind is on automatic. It will do that by itself. But if you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, if you want to begin to really enjoy a happy, successful, healthy life, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. You want it, and you're going to go all out to have it. I challenge you to see your problems as a great thing. I challenge you to start being thankful that you have the opportunity to grow, get stronger, get more focused, get more skilled, and kick more ass because of every hardship you face. You need to make it a habit to start every f***ing day validating yourself because life is a marathon. And this might be a challenging leg where you're like, I'm just going to throw in the towel. I'm not going to do that thing. Hell no. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself, every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. My back is up against this motherfucker every day, and I gotta go that way. And I don't give a fuck who is in front of me. They're not gonna stop me. We turn tragedy into triumph. That's what lions do. Lions don't cry. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions hunt. That's what we do for a living. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time. You go by the gazelle. You hunt until you get a gazelle, and you don't stop until you get one. It's hard to handle it. You got to fortify yourself and say, come on with it. I've got to step into it. Just find an excuse to win. Keep going. If you're going to be successful in this game, you got to have a dog within you. You got to know it's a dog fight, and you got to go get that fight. Life ain't going to be easy. Ain't nobody going to hand you nothing. You still got to go to work. You still got to compete against everybody in your industry. Life's still going to happen while you trying to blow up. I want to know what the f*** I'm made of. I want to know what I can overcome. And I know from experience that the harder the task to overcome, the more strength I'm going to gain from it. When you get to the point where enough is enough, when you get to the point where it hurt real bad, when you get to the point you can't take it no more, when you get to that point, doors start opening, opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit doing the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. These are the days that test your fortitude. They test your endurance, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness, your character. At the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing, when you'd rather die than send another email or take another phone call or talk to another human, you got to get the job done. You got to tell life, I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you ain't dealt with me. You got to tell bankruptcy. You got to tell divorce. You got to tell sickness. I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you come up against the wrong one this time. You can be and do whatever you want, and nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you but you. There are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. You so, so sort of put a mask on your face and pretend that everything's okay when it's not, and you go home and lay in your bed when no one's looking at you, when you don't have to impress anybody and you're yourself and fear comes in maybe you have doubt in your life maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future and it scares you maybe you're worried about what people think of you what people say about you just that fear paralyzes you and I just want to ask you today do you think you have hope every time you hit a low place don't those voices come back up again every time things go wrong don't those voices come back 
You start saying to yourself, I'm a mess up, I'm a failure, I'd be better off not being here. We just keep feeding ourselves this toxic thinking. The biggest single obstacle standing in your way to success is not lack of education, it's not lack of background, it's not lack of money, it's lack of belief in yourself. The fundamental key to success is what you believe is true for yourself. Not what you want, not what you desire. It's what do you believe? You have never changed your belief and you will never completely be healed or whole until you change the voice inside of your own head. What I've learned is that I have to start talking to myself. I'm like, Rich, you're great. You can do this. Rich, you can handle this. Rich, this is not a big deal. You're amazing. Rich, this too shall pass. The predicament that you are in right now does not define your destiny. You ought to look at every negative situation in your house and say you're a liar. Every time something whispers in your ear and says you can't make it through this, you can't take this, you're going to have a nervous breakdown, you're going to lose your mind, you're going to die like your mama did, you're going to get sick like your daddy did. You got to talk back to those voices and say, hey, you're lying on me, I'm better than this. Every voice that said you'll never be nothing, you got to call it out, you're a liar. Sickness is a liar. Failure is a liar. Despair is a liar. Disease, you're a liar. Can't learn, you're a liar. Can't read, you're a liar. Can't make it, you're a liar. Can't take it. You ought to call out every liar. You need to abort every voice that says you can't do it, you can't have it, you can't be it, you'll never get up, you'll never survive. Abort that thing. Push it out. Life gonna whip your butt. Life is gonna bully you. Stop whining. Stop crying. Nobody cares. Be demanding. Let it hit you, but don't let it punk you. Now, if you're gonna hurt anyhow, get some yardage out of it. Get something from it. You're already in pain. Use it. Do something with it. Allow your pain to push you to greatness. I don't care if you've been beaten to the floor, if your legs are too tired to lift that weight. Break through that barrier and create new ones for you and for others to show off. Get back up and live life. Whoever stays down is a loser, and winners will fail and get up. Fail and get up. You always get up. That is a winner. It's a guy that's willing to get knocked down, finally tells it on fortune, stand back up, stand back up. The perseverance to see it through, the never say die attitude. But if I don't win, I showed up, I gave my valid effort. And tomorrow I'll do the same thing. And I'll continue to throw shit against the wall. Every time I get knocked down, I will get back up and I will succeed. I will not surrender. The moments that take your breath away are the ones that count. You need the downs to make the ups. You need the ups to create the downs. You need to feel the opposites to truly understand the full reality of the life you are living. You can dream of these things, but understand you can also achieve them. Other people have done it, then we can do it. We fail a lot of times. Well, a lot of other folks fail, and eventually they came back and they succeeded. So it's possible we can have what we want, and it's necessary. We get negative, do-nothing people out of our lives. It's necessary. We never stop learning and growing and developing ourselves. It's necessary that we never give up. Whatever we have to do, it's worth it. You realize that you have nothing left to talk smack about. And you will lose and I will win. What if the truth is that changing your life is one away? One decision, one meeting, one conversation, one extra phone call, one extra rep in the gym. You start stacking up those one mores. That's the separator. In life, we don't get our goals. We get our standards. You meet somebody who doesn't have self-confidence, this is someone who's perpetually not keeping promises they make to themselves. You meet somebody with pretty good baseline confidence, you've met somebody who now keeps the promises they make to themselves. You meet somebody doing superhuman things, they keep the promises they make to themselves, and they do one more. There's a power to one more. When you start stacking up those one mores, not only have you put more contacts out into the universe, but you start believing, I'm doing something most people aren't willing to do, I'm fixing to get something most people aren't gonna get. I don't have that natural beauty or that natural talent or this gift for creativity or intellect or humor. I don't have any of those things. But what I got is I will outwork you. When it's 45 on the treadmill, I do 46. When it's supposed to be 20 phone calls, I make 21. When it's supposed to be an eight hour workday, I work nine. Whatever it is, I always do one more. And what that does is it makes me eventually think I'm doing things other people aren't willing to do, so I should get things other people aren't gonna get.
You've got to understand it's not about what you were born with. It's not about what you were given, where you started, or even where you're going. It is entirely about what you plant at the center of your soul. How hard you're willing to go after something. How much focus you're willing to put in your life. And how often you come back to that level of intensity for who you want to be. You have to make a decision that nobody in your position will outwork you. Some people run faster, swim better, but mentality is mentality. You're not going to outwork me, so I'm going to catch up somewhere. If you are not that talented, you can beat them with time. You can get to the spot before they get to the spot. Get your butt up and get there. Every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you got to go out and show them that I'm a different creature. Now, because I'm pissed off for greatness. Because if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you okay with being mediocre. There ain't no man in here okay with being just basic. And I dare you to exhaust yourself. I dare you to leave every single thing on the field one season. Everything. Walk off exhausted. Wins and losses come a dime a dozen. But effort, nobody can judge effort. Because effort is between you and you. Effort ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. I want you to know when you dream your dream that there are other people who are dreaming the exact same dream. When you said to yourself, this is what I want to accomplish, you're not the only person that wants to accomplish it. And now I ask you this question, what do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What do you do when you're not the only one that wants to make a million dollars in your company? You're not the only one that wants to be a CEO. What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You've got to get up earlier. You've got to stay up later. You've got to execute and you've got to go from 70 to 120. If you can focus your mind on it, you can change it. You don't like the way your life is going. You have the power to change it. You don't have to be a failure. You don't have to be a quitter. You don't have to be anything you don't want to be. As long as you decide to change your mind. You got to get to the point in your life where you say, I have had it. I've had it with going in a restaurant, looking on one side to see what I want to eat, and then look on the other side to see what I could afford. I'd had it living like that. I'd had it borrowing money from people. I'd had it living like a cringing animal. When you don't have any money, it runs your blood pressure up. You hear me? And you've got to decide, I have had it. I'm not going to live like this anymore. Let me tell you something. You deserve it. You deserve a better life. There is more to your life than you've been living. You deserve it. When you commit yourself to do better, that's the moment you start to see real change. You better be committed or you ain't gonna make it. You have to be committed through the storm and the rain and the heartache and the pain and the disappointment. It's a commitment, it's not a feeling. Commitments don't have nothing to do with your feelings. You do it because you're supposed to. Your feelings will never cooperate with your dreams. Beat your feelings into captivity because when you beat your feelings into captivity, that is what discipline is. The very first level is you seeing it. You got to know what it looks like, tastes like, feel like. Because you don't, you're going to compromise. Find those goals that mean something to you. Write them out. Read them every day. Develop a plan of action. Make up your mind that you have the power within yourself to reinvent you. You've got to work on it. When other folk are having a good time, you've got to have the strength of character to concentrate, to read, to digest information. If you want it bad enough, nothing's going to stop you. Not fear, not somebody's opinion, not how hard your childhood was, not self-doubt, nothing will stop you. You can do what you put your mind to. And if you continue to put your mind to it, the game opens up new levels. And each new level that gets opened up, you're able to adapt a different mindset and a different approach. You can stop at that level or you can go, I want more levels. I want more fucking levels. You can make every dream you've ever had a reality, but you've got to be willing to stand and fight for it. You've got to be willing to give up your time for it. Give up your peace. Give up your blood. Give up your sweat. Give up your tears. Give every single thing you possibly can to that dream. And you think greatness goes on sale, but true quality never goes on sale. 
The only thing that goes on sale is cheap stuff. The real high quality stuff, it costs what it costs. They're not trying to get somebody average to buy it. You got to have a certain amount of money or you ought not to be in here. Greatness costs what it costs. There is a price tag to greatness. Nobody's going to hand it to you. You've got to grind for it. You've got to stick with that thing for as long as it takes and pay whatever price is required. And while you're suffering from self-doubt, other people are intimidated by your full potential. If your past self could see where you're at today, think of how impressed they would be. One of the greatest ways you can overcome self-doubt is to realize how far you've come. Maybe you're not exactly where you want to be, but you're a lot better than where you were. And the key is to wake up every single day, put one foot in front of the other, keep moving, and keep growing. You gotta have some strong reasons for why you're doing this because when you get out into the arena of life, you're gonna get your ass kicked and your reasons will be the only thing that will keep you going. When the dream is worth it to you, you'll go through hell to get it. Who cares how long it takes? What matters is that if it's something that gives your life value, you'll do whatever's required. When you feel that it's worth it, you don't need any guarantees if things will work out. You don't need to know the outcome because you know that you'll either find a way or make a way. When it's worth it, you exert greater effort and greater effort releases the creative genius in you. When you go up in there and you start going at it passionately and working with it and working with it and working with it it will reveal its secrets to you and you discover things about yourself that you don't know right now there comes a day man everyone's gonna have this day there comes a day where being average being mediocre just fucking burns and sucks so much you can't deal with it one more day and you get off your fucking ass and you create something that's always been there it's always been inside of you trying to come out but you've never wanted to unwrap it because it's too much pain and commitment. You were scared you were gonna fail. You were scared if you started, you never finish it. You didn't want to tell anyone about it. You knew it was there, but you never wanted to embark on it until something fucking hits. You get fired or somebody else gets success to remind you of what you could have been. And then the fucking spark is born. And no matter what happens, I'm never going to be in this boat again. And you get up and you go, even if it gets knocked down, you just keep going, keep going, you're a wild man. And life has never been so sweet. It's time to unwrap the potential you can be. It's within you. And the people that have risen to that level were no different than any one of us. It's just that they believed it and they were willing to work their fucking ass off to get it. It wasn't about the potential. It wasn't about the genetics. It wasn't about the perseverance. And it wasn't about being the hardest key worker in the room. There is no excuse for not being the hardest worker. Yeah, someone might be bigger, stronger, faster, or quicker, younger, whatever else. But there is no excuse to not be the hardest key worker there. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. And that's why most of y'all get beat in the game or make mistakes in the game because you think grinding is what happens when the sun comes out. You think grinding is what happens when the lights come on. You think grinding is what happens when people get in the stage. That's not grind. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you. When nobody knows what you're doing. When you're studying without coach. When you're putting in those extra reps. When you're watching those videos and you're getting inspired, when you change your music, it's the process that makes you sweet. It has everything to do with what time you wake up. It has everything to do with how you eat. It has everything to do with how you work out, how you prepare. It has every single thing to do with how you think. And if you're gonna be the best, the cream of the crop, you gotta be it, not talk about it. It has to consume you. It has to take over you that when I see you without even knowing you, I ought to be able to look at you and from your ethos, I ought to see you are the best of the best. I ought to know what you're doing without you saying one word. It ought to illuminate from you. No alarm clock needed. My passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up. My determination wakes me up. My ability to be, do, and have whatever I want, it wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? Is it just a game or do you eat it? Do you sleep it? Do you drink it? Have you possessed the game? And what will separate those of you from the rest is what you do. I was never the strongest guy. I'm not the fastest guy, not the smartest guy, but I will work.
and I will work hard. I will be up when my competitors sleep. I will be up when my enemy is curled up in bed. I will be up getting after it, and I recommend that you do the same. People always say, you gotta love the work. You gotta love what you do. You don't have to love what you do. You gotta get addicted to what you do. You gotta be addicted to winning. You cannot work short hours. You gotta work long hours. You gotta work smarter and you gotta work fucking harder. It's the work that you put in, the time and effort, the dedication, the hours that nobody else saw here, the sacrifices. You have to be disciplined. You have to be obsessive. You have to be addicted to the result. At the end of the day, the person that will surrender is the person that didn't work as hard as the other person. You gotta work harder than the other person. So just when you felt like you did that last rep and your muscles are saying, it's, it's, I can't do no more reps, you say, like, yeah, you gotta do one more. Because right now, while you quitting, he might be doing five more. While you quitting and giving up, while you saying, all right, I did enough, it's time to rest, he might just be getting his all. If you wanna be great, you wanna be the best motherfucker ever at what you do, you're gonna be misunderstood by everybody because you're gonna be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there. That's what it takes. It takes every second of your fucking life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of fucking people. But if you wanna fucking go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. To be the best in the world at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of energy and strength that you have to pull it off. I do things to separate myself from everybody. The passion that I have when I speak, the grind that I have when I do what I do. What are you gonna do to separate yourself? If you ain't got more heart than me, if you ain't been working harder than me, if you ain't sacrificed more than me, I'm gonna destroy you and I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care what they say on paper. I don't care how many games you won. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. You're not giving 120. You're giving 70. You're giving 60. And you want what these people who've given sweat, who's given blood, who's given tears, you want what they pay for and it ain't free. It has everything to do with what time you wake up. It has everything to do with how you eat. It has everything to do with how you work out, how you prepare. It has every single thing to do with how you think. And when you want it as bad as you want to breathe says, I'm willing to make any sacrifice. I'm willing to go through any pain. I'm willing to go through any suffering. I'm willing to go through whatever it takes. So when I get in there and it's me and him one on one, that I guarantee you at the end of it, I won't be the one that surrendered. And if you're gonna be the best, the cream of the crop, if you're gonna be the apex, you gotta be it. It has to consume you. You can't get out of something, something that you're not willing to put into it. You have to put your everything, your everything, your mind, your energy, your effort, your discipline. Nothing is gonna jump out the fire. If you don't throw something in there, it's not gonna happen. You gotta learn how not to give up or how not to give in. And you gotta understand that greatness is within you. And you gotta pull it out. You gotta climb every mountain. You gotta cry you got to. But whatever you do, you cannot give up. Up. You cannot give in. Nobody ever said it would be easy. I know greatness is within you and you got what it takes. I don't care what it costs. I will do whatever it takes to win. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail and I will succeed. It's up to you. And because you're only ever going to do the things that you feel like doing right now or that feel good right now, Unless you understand that you've got to parent yourself, you've got to push yourself, you're not going to make your dreams come true. If you want to live your best life, your absolutely best life, you got to do me a huge favor. you got to watch them choices you make. People make bad choices, they wake up and they make another bad choice, and they make another bad choice, now they got a habit of bad choices, right? And they like, how do I get here? Choices. How do I get here? You trying to get to certain places, but you ain't making the choices that's going to get you there. You all in your feelings. The problem is that most people, they like, they can't get up in the morning. They ain't got no energy. They don't got the energy to keep up with me. I'm like, boo, ain't nothing wrong with you. You just ain't got the stamina. You just ain't got the energy. You can't smart everything. You can't outthink everything. Some stuff is just, you gotta be powerful. It's just some stuff that you gotta have stamina for. And you just too slow. It just take you too long. You wake up, take you three weeks to do what it can take 24 hours to do. It don't make you a bad person, but you gonna forever be average because to be great, you got to keep up. No alarm clock needed. My passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up.
My determination was my, my ability to be, do, and have whatever I want. It wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? You got to begin with the end in mind. So whatever your dream or your goal is, you got to wake up every day to it. You got to go to bed with it. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? You got to read stuff. The music you listen to, everything you do, got to pour into that dream. Don't give up on yourself. Don't throw the towel in so quickly. Many people give up on the one yard line. You know the human spirit is powerful. There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. There's greatness in you. And you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. And since I'm going to do this, I'm going to harness my will. And I'm not going to let anything stop. I deserve this. Working on yourself, talking to yourself. That's so very important. Overcoming the negative conversation, that inner dialogue is going on all the time. You've got to stand up inside yourself sometimes and say, shut up. I'm in control here. You've got to have an uplifted expression. Watch your body posture. All of these things affect you psychically. Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. All I need you to do is speak up and say, I expect to win. Declare that it's over, that yesterday was the last day that you were a loser. Like yesterday was the last day you expected to come up short. When you set out for a goal, expect it to happen. Expect to be successful. Expect it to be positive. If you can expect it, if you can wake up feeling like a winner, if you can wake up talking like a winner, if you can expect that everything you do will come out winning, I guarantee you, you never ever have to come up short again. It might be year two, three, four before you get your big win, but you can decide now, I'm gonna walk, talk, and be a different person. You decide that, you're the lead character in the story of your life. Everything has to do with you intending to win. Too many of you are playing with your business. If you make that shift, I'm going to win. We're going to play to win now. We're not playing to play. We're not playing to see how we do. We're not playing for fun. Once you start getting some winning, you start changing. You talk different. You walk different. All of a sudden, this isn't the same damn human being. You can change you. You'd be surprised what a little winning would do. You'd be surprised how good you'd be if you just decide to win. Be number one in your office. Number one in your region. And when you start stacking them up, your life can change.